you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going over the most overpowered power-up cards I believe you need. Now, these come in two forms, right? So there's the power-ups where you don't use the full card and you just rock with their base stats because some of them are that good. And also, some of them are with the full card. Now, the benefits versus the non-benefits are obviously the full card one's going to be better, but some cards are too expensive to afford with the full card, so you can easily just power them up to their highest point, such as Legends, and then use them as an 88, which is still very good to be one of the best players in your team. Now, not all of them get the best stats of that 88, so that's why I'm going over which ones that I think are the best ones. I also throw in some honorable mentions, obviously. I also just got a haircut, guys, you guys can see. We got a little trim. I needed that for tomorrow. Now, guys, if you haven't already, we made top 100. People are saying I'm going to probably get knocked out, but I won't. I'm, I'm ranked 50 right now with 20 wins. I know I'm going to stay in it. There's no way. I get most. There's so many 19 wins. If they Even if they top me, I have a high strength of schedule. But if you haven't checked out that video yet, go back. One video I should have just posted like an hour or two ago. Go check it out. It's pretty cool. First top 100. It was the first weekend of Madden 20, so that was pretty cool. Now, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below and smack the sub button. I'm going for 6K in like three days and hopefully 10K by the end of the month. If we keep up this ratio, we can definitely hit it. And also turn on the Noti bell to get notified every time I post. Noti gang is almost up to a whole thousand people. It tells me on the uh, YouTube. So try to get that to 2,000 this month. It'd be awesome. But let's get that up to 1,000 by today. Comment down below what you guys think about the players I named. And if you have any others, please feel free to comment them down below so I have some feedback on what to change. And let's get 150. Let's get 200 likes in this video. I think that's fair. You guys can handle that. So let's start off with this list. So first off. I'm not going to be ranking these. I will give you my number one player, but I'm not ranking the rest because obviously it's all it all depends. So I have a list right here. Let's break out the list real quick. Oh, there goes the light. Let's break out this list. So go. I'm going to show. I'm going to do it through the auction house so you guys can see their prices. So coming in at number one, or should I say first in the list that I'm just going to mention, is probably going to be one of my favorite strong safeties right now that you could easily get up to an 88 overall if done properly. The training itself. The training's a bit expensive, but it's definitely worth it. So we're at first one's gonna be Ken Houston. So Ken Houston's a 76 over, obviously. You can power him up to, I believe, his full legend's an 89. So you can power him up to like an 87. 87 for him has like an 83 speed, which 83 speed at Trunks 83 right now is not bad at all for probably about like 60K worth of training. So you're gonna get a, an 87 overall strong safety for 60K. So you're gonna always get a much cheaper value or much better value at that position considering the players that are that high up in overall go for a lot more. I love Ken Houston. If you compare him to my full Ken Houston, I'm just going to show you the stats. He's one of the fastest, best coverage, best hitting safeties in Madden right now. Almost all plus 80 stats across the board. I love him. Another guy's Jamal Adams, obviously. But he's just my backup. I love Ken Houston, so obviously I believe his power up 87 should be pretty good. Now, second guy I want to name. He's not exactly the top guy. But guys, he I people have him. He's played better for other people than me. He makes some insane catches with this guy. I wonder how much his power up's going for. Probably a lot. George Kittle. Okay, first off, guys, let me show you what he looks like when he's an 87. And you can also power a pass his final card with an 85 to 86 pass, which you guys probably have. We get that from leveling up. Now, his, his this card right here is fast. His catching stats look okay. But the beauty of him is that he can catch, run, and block. So with my scheme, the way I run so much and how the meta is right now, running is a big deal. So his run block is huge, not to mention the fact that if you can throw drags to him and easily burn around for first down, people are blitzing you. That's what he's huge for, people who blitz a lot. I throw a drag to Kittle. He runs right under the coverage. Easy, easy five to ten yards every time. Now, his stats might not look as good as they, as they play, but trust me, when I play him, this guy makes one-handed catches. I, I have a highlight in my last in my last uh, video of Weekend League, and he literally mossed me. Almost cost me the game. Now, second on this list, this guy isn't as... This guy's pretty obvious, but it's all based on what you can get from uh, trophies. So, I'm going to be going with the Nat Von Miller. Obviously, for my trophy, I'm going to be getting the 91 overall, so I'm going to want his power up, power him up, because abilities are huge, so that's a big part of it. I love, I want I want abilities, I want to have the maxed out card, so Von Miller, I'm going to get his 92, probably toss a power pass on him, or just buy his 87 if I have to, because I think I put it on Donald already, but I will be getting this Miller. This Miller, with a 91 overall, if you power him up 92, will be one of, the, will be the best outside linebacker in the game right now. Obviously, you'll lose his value over the course of a month or two, but I think he could be one of the best linebackers for at least a month or two easily being coming in at 92 and if you get some cams like edge elite fear monger um reach elite under pressure all those things it's, it's going to be a beautiful card von miller is definitely up there for one of the best cards you need to power up right now 
because he's you could also power him up base probably take like an 85 and if you use your passing you probably get to an 88 now these are just the guys you could use full players on there's also legends like i said which is gonna be my number one play on the list that i'm not gonna do yet but next on the list is going to have to be i wonder what team this guy's on because i'm pretty sure it's the titans i just don't know what power i don't know what team his power ups on is it is it on here bruce matthews so the beauty of Bruce Matthews is right now, left guards are kind of bad in this game. There's only Ali Marpit and Norwell that I really like. And then Bruce Matthews just dropped, I believe he has a 90, 90 overall or 91. It doesn't really matter. Point is here is that you can power this guy up without using any cards, just training all the way up to about an 88. So you can get an 88 to 87 left guard on your team, which will be the best left guard in the game. I already checked the stats. He will be the best left guard. He'll be better than this Norwell, especially his running. His run blocking is insane which is great because right now I like to run a lot and a lot of people do. So Bruce Matthews is one of the cards that if you don't want to buy a left guard, I might be powering down this Norwell and getting this card next. I just haven't yet because my training's a bit low and my training's kind of expensive right now. But I will be getting this Bruce Matthews. going to have insane run blocking, good pass blocking, good strength. I think he's a bit faster. So for that reason alone, Bruce Matthews is an awesome guy to power up all the way to 88. Now, the next guy is pretty obvious. I wouldn't say buy him right now. I'm just going to tell you how good he is. But this guy, his power is way too expensive, so I wouldn't recommend You guys know what I'm talking about. Aaron Donald coming in at 80k for power up. I'm, I pulled him. I'm so happy I pulled this card and I have it because I didn't have to buy it. But when he's powered up all the way with Reach Elite or Under Pressure, or Fear Monger, or there's one more that I forget, which is a really good superstar, this is what he looks like full. And trust me, this card is crazy. And it's not just about his run block, his uh, pass, pass rushing. I like him more so for his run stuffing. I'm not like when they when they run to the left side with Reach Elite, he puts his one arm out and he grabs the running back down or at least slows him down, which is huge with Marcus Allen right now and how he's playing because it really cuts down on a lot of big runs that should be big runs because he, he can grab right into the hole. So it kind of locks up the left. I want to get another outside line. I want to get either my outside linebacker on the right and then my other end on the left. I mean, I want to get them with Reach Elite because I'll make a huge difference if you can get them on both sides. In my personal opinion, I recommend putting chemistries on your, your ends and your outside linebackers out of the three you could pick. Quick little opinion. Now, second on the, well, the last two, obviously, is going to be my favorite player in the game right now. By far, not even close. He's the reason I won Weekend League. If you guys haven't seen him yet, go watch the highlights and you'll see what he did for me. Marcus Allen. Now, without his full card, you could probably get him up to like an 88, which I believe is speed or an 87. His speed will be approximately like an 84, which isn't exactly the fastest. At that point, I'd use Philip Lindsay. But if you can power him up full, this card is the glitchiest thing I've ever had in Madden history. Like, go watch the highlights. You have to, this is how you gotta hook him up though. You gotta hook him up with this, with this full legend, with evasive, and with, that's really all you need, evasive. I put freight train on him because the way it works is once you get freight train activated, you're pretty much untackleable the first tackle. I know not every time, but trust me. And when you break away, if they catch up to you, just stiff arm them. They're right off. You pretty much break any tackle if it's one on one. And on top of that, evasive is you can't you, you juke everything out. Evasive is the craziest thing. It's like Barry Sanders come the end of Madden. But imagine taking Barry Sanders Ultimate Legend and putting him in the first week of Madden. That's what this card feels like. I in that game that I did the highlights of a weekend league, which was my final game for top 100. Mark Stone had like 480 yards. I had like five passing yards in my homes. Trust me, you want this card. Now, the final guy. And this is the final guy. And I, I rank him number one because he doesn't need to have his full card to be great. I already have him. I can show you the stats too. It's going to be the best giant of all time, Lawrence Taylor. If you guys want to buy his power, you can always go play the solos for this. Of course it sells out. So Lawrence Taylor, the beauty of him is that you don't have to power him up with this full card to be great. This is his 88 overall card. Probably cost me about like 70 to 100K in training. But 100K in training... For currently the best outside linebacker, in my opinion, was Jadavion Clowney. I didn't like Derek Brooks. It was a Jadavion Clowney. They dropped Taylor. I sold Clowney for 140. And then I got Taylor for about 100K worth of training. And he has an 83rd speed, so he's the fastest linebacker in the game, in my opinion, when it comes to edging. I mean, obviously, Derek Brooks or Derek Brooks can't pass rush. And then he's excels in 86. His strength's in 84. His tackle's in 83. His play rec's in 83. His block shot's in 82. His power move and finesse move are both 83 and 86. Blows away Jadavion Clowney. He's tall. I even can use her with him because he's so fast. So when people try to do RPOs, I like to pull him right down to the flats and just pick off the uh, the RPO pass. But for that reasoning alone, Jadavion Clown, I mean, Lawrence Taylor, sorry, is the best power-up card you could have in this game right now. I will get his full card once it comes down from 700K because that is insane. But for the most part, I am more than happy with this 88 overall, and I think you guys should be too. 100K is a lot, but 100K, and you could sell your current outside linebacker to get a beast like Lawrence Taylor. And in my opinion, Lawrence Taylor is only going to be the only outside linebacker I have for the whole year. So for that reason, more than itself, like that is the reason I, need, I don't mind spending money on this because I will have him an outside linebacker for the whole year. He always gets either a harvest card or a Christmas card. He, he'll get something. He always gets big cards, and he's always going to have an ultimate legend. So no problem having him, guys. But that is about it for this video. Those are the top players. So remember, Ken Houston, Von Miller, Aaron Donald, George Kittle, Marcus Allen, 
Bruce Matthews, and Lawrence Taylor coming in at number one. That is it for the video, guys. I hope this helps you guys out a lot. Obviously, don't just do it because I said so. Go do your own research and make sure you agree with it first. And then check the training values. I will probably make an updated training value video within the next week or so as prices change from the weekend league. I'll probably do a market talk Tuesday and then do a weekend league uh, market update for training. But guys, that's about it. If you haven't already, check out the last video. See how good weekend league went for me. See some of the highlights. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys haven't already, drop a sub. Let's get to like 5.35 today, hopefully. Drop a like. Let's get like 200 likes in the video. And comment down below if there's any players I missed and you think I should add to this list. And make sure to turn on that noti bell. I'm out, guys. See you later. Thanks so much for watching.